Number five, Gettysburg Battlefield, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. As the site of one of the Civil War's bloodiest battles, Gettysburg stands the test of time as one of the most haunted places in America. Over 50,000 soldiers from the Union and Confederate armies were killed, and their ghosts are still seen and heard today by tourists to the field and town. Visitors also claim to hear the thunder of cannons, gunfire, and the screams and moans of the battle's victims. Devil's Den, a rock formation where dozens of bodies and limbs were discovered after the war, is a popular spot for tourists seeking a ghostly encounter in this historic area. Number four, the Stanley Hotel, Estes Park, Colorado. As the infamous locale where Jack Nicholson went crazy in The Shining, this hotel is a hot spot for paranormal activity. The Paranormal Research Society of Paranormal State fame came for a field trip, while taps from ghost hunters has experienced phenomena around the hotel site. There are well-known spooks, including a young boy who makes his presence known in room 1211, and a young man who just likes to hang out in closets and bedrooms. The hotel's owner, Mr. Stanley, makes his presence known by appearing to visitors in the lobby and billiards room, while his wife Flora entertains guests by playing a piano. The hotel offers ghost tours, so next time you visit Colorado, bring a camera. Who knows, perhaps a friendly spirit will appear for a picture. Number three, St. Augustine Lighthouse, St. Augustine, Florida. The ghosts of this haunted lighthouse are rumored to make their presence known by appearing as creepy shadows and making unexplained noises. Legend has it that the daughters of the superintendent of lighthouse construction drowned and continue to haunt the building ever since their untimely death. Three other people have passed away in the lighthouse from illnesses, while a keeper named Joseph fell to his death. Visitors have claimed to see shadows high up in the tower, while others hear the daughters laughing and giggling at night. The eldest girl is also fond of appearing before guests, donned in the clothing she wore on the day of her death. Number two. The Myrtles Plantation, St. Francisville, Louisiana. Built over an ancient First Nations burial ground, this plantation is known for its ghostly inhabitants. Rumor has it that 10 deaths have occurred on the site. One of the most famous involves a slave named Chloe, who was supposedly killed by fellow slaves after an ill-fated attempt to poison another house mistress. Visitors have reported seeing ghostly children on the veranda, a curly-haired woman who mysteriously appears and disappears, and odd handprints that mysteriously appear in mirrors. One visitor reported a cold spot hovering over her bed while a rattling closet door kept her awake. If you want to get some sleep while visiting Myrtle Plantation, you might have to tell the ghost to keep it down. Number one, Bell Witch Cave, Adams, Tennessee. The site where John Bell and his family were tormented by a ghost now known as the Bell Witch is open to brave visitors who wish to explore the spirit world. The legend varies, but most accounts claim that Kate Batts, a neighbor of the Bell family, believed she was cheated out of property in a land purchase. Kate continued to torture the entire Bell family, physically abusing the youngest daughter, Betsy, and cursing John. Visitors claim that any object taken from the site is cursed, while many have reported encountering a violent force while on the property. Technology doesn't work there either, with cameras mysteriously malfunctioning when users try to capture an image. 
like these top 10 videos, subscribe by clicking the annotation here and give our video a like. Have an idea for a future top 10? Leave a comment in the section below.